So let's say you're building an API instead of a website and you just want to return some information to a client that makes a request, so a HTTP request to get something. So HTTP request was covered in the um, JSON APIs course and it would be a bit of a waste to return an entire HTML file for them because no one's going to see it. It's just going to be read by machine. So we can return in JSON format instead. So we're going to look at how to do that. So let's say I have this person right here. So the API is to um, give a per return a person back. And this is just a JavaScript object with a name and a message. A name and an age, sorry. So what we can do is we can call the app.get method right here. You know what, I'm gonna write it again. So we'll just say app.get like this. And let's say they want to get, so the API path is slash person. So it'll be, since this is port 3000, it'll be localhost 3000 slash person. And what we do here is again, we uh, give it a function that takes in a request and a response. And here we call a method on the response object called dot JSON. And for into this method, we can give it any valid JavaScript object. So since we're returning this person right here, um, we can just put person like this. And what this will do is it'll convert this JavaScript object into a JSON string and add the correct headers so that this can be a valid response. So if I save this now and start the server up, and here into the slash hello, I go to slash person like this. We can see that the JSON has been returned right here. So we've transferred this information. And this is far more efficient than returning an entire web page because just a machine is going to be reading this. So what they want us to do here is when we go to the slash JSON route, they want us to return this message right here. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So I've, we've just copied it right here. And I'm just going to say uh, let, mes um, let message equals, and then I'm going to just push this here. And then what we can do is say app.get, and then put the slash JSON as our path. So again, this is for a get request to this path. We give it a function that takes in a request and, oops, request and a response. And what we want to do is call the JSON method on the response and give it this message right here. So I've just saved that right now. And if we go to this website and then we put slash JSON in, we can see that our message right there has been returned. So again, you just want to give it, you just want to submit the main page of this application. So just go back to the home page right here. And again, you can do this using share and then live app and just paste that in and submit it. Yeah, that's it.